Hello everyone, we're going to continue our explorations of art and math connections and in this uh, video what we're going to do, and we'll have a longer video in which we study the details of this, we're going to learn how to make uh, op art uh, of a particular type. So for this I'm going to be using a program called Paintbrush, but any 3D really paint program would work. So the idea is to grab uh, the tools here, like in this case the rectangular tool, the smooth rectangle tool, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, rectangles that intersect each other in a manner such that at every point of intersection you see four segments all together. So coming in, uh, there's only four. So I'm going to continue this uh, uh, all over the place, and you'll see in a minute what my ultimate intentions are. So I'm just going to use uh, some rectangular shapes that are horizontal, others that look a little bit more vertical, etc. And then I'm going to switch to uh, this ellipse tool. I'm going to make some ellipses, cut the existing shapes in the manner described. Only four uh, uh, segments intersect at a point. So I can do that. So if you're going to intersect, that's how you do it. But uh, you don't have to intersect at all. So here's a shape which just lives uh, inside the rectangle or outside the rectangle, etc. So uh, all of this will make a little bit more sense in a second. Uh, maybe something like that. Something like that. Okay. And what we're going to be interested in is the coloring features of this. So if you consider this to be a map, you might wonder how many colors do I really need in order to uh, color it. And it turns out that not much. You could do a uh, coloring in this, as you'll see, that is no more than two. That's why I'm going to color this whole thing black and white. Uh, that's the name of art, as you'll see in a second. Okay. Uh, I believe uh, I'm almost done. You could really use your imagination how much you want to uh, pursue this. But here is uh, something I have just created. And sky is the limit with what you could do with uh, these tools. Okay, so let's say I uh, like this. Actually, I'm going to make maybe one more. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the bucket tool. And what we're going to do is we're going to color, uh, in this case, black and white. So the surrounding area is going to be white, so I have no control over that. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to color uh, uh, everything else. And this is how I do it. I start with a black region. And at the point of intersection, the color bleeds. Oh, on the other side. Now you can see it's going to bleed here, bleed there, bleed there. And then it's going to bleed here, here. All right? And you can see in this manner, uh, you're going to need no more than two colors. There is a theorem, I believe in topology, that explains this, and the next video will give you some more hints about that. But observe, uh, I will be able to color this, unless I make a mistake, uh, with only two colors. So let's see how this is going to go like that, like that, like that, like that, like that, and like that. And then we come to this region, that region, this, that, this, that, and this, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that. And that okay uh, as you can see uh, we have a shape that is completely too it was too colorable a fascinating question after you've created uh, such artworks i just realized i have one more region uh, that i could see uh, you start wondering on the question why is a shape like this that we have created too colorable why is it enough to have only two colors okay i hope you had a good time enjoy <laughs> 